In under a year, this unit swiftly evolved from infantry trenches near Kherson into a unique combat force, a company of attack drone pilots. Headed by an entrepreneur and an official, this group of pilots has already destroyed hundreds of enemy armored vehicles. This is the story of the Magyar birds, who bring death to the enemy from the skies. In the modern warfare realm, nearly every unit has its own social media account. The Magyar YouTube channel has over 150 videos. In the majority of these videos, a bearded figure shows more and more drone strikes. As the enemy self-propelled artillery gun managed to make 10 shots and is currently attempting to flee, a suicide drone is dispatched to intercept. And we will now change the course of events. There it is. Little guy. Boom! Meet Robert Brovdy, a Ukrainian soldier recognized by the call sign Magyar. Before the full-scale invasion, he was a successful businessman and official, heading Ukraine's sole state-owned commodity exchange, the Agrarian Exchange. However, since in the impending major war, he enlisted in the territorial defense. He took part in the Battle of Kyiv and actively undertook combat missions in Bucha and Borodyanka. After that, he ended up near Kherson, where, in his own words, he did not like it as he had to constantly take cover in the trenches due to massive shelling. Then he bought a drone at his own expense to better understand what is going on around him. This was the beginning of a unique combat unit of the Ukrainian army. In just one year, the Magyar Birds, an attack drone company within the 59th Separate Motorized Infantry Brigade formed by Robert, became one of the most successful units. One well-equipped attack drone company is capable of destroying over a hundred enemy armored vehicles each month. And we have proved this by our example. While initially the group created by Magyar did not have a single professional military or drone, the intensity of the war was such that on occasion his unit made 50 sorties per day. The result is an incredible efficiency. For instance, in early June 2023, the group destroyed or damaged 35 enemy armored vehicles in just four days. Overall, they have destroyed more than $1 billion worth of enemy equipment. The FPV drones are one of the Magyar Bird's trump cards. However, they also have other vehicles in active service. Among these is the R-18, an octocopter developed by Ukrainian volunteers. It can lift ammunition weighing up to 5 kilograms, which it then drops on the enemy from a height of up to 300 meters. Detailed characteristics of the drone are not disclosed, but it is known that it can operate at a distance of up to 4 kilometers from the operator and spend about 40 minutes in the air. Another Ukrainian development, Punisher, was used by operators to blow up, among other things, a Thor surface-to-air missile system, capable of intercepting airplanes, helicopters, missiles and drones. This system costs about $25 million. Contrastingly, the cost of the UAV itself stands at $10,000. Even civilian drones can contribute in combat, serving not only for reconnaissance or as makeshift bombers with light ammunition. During the spring of 2023, an ordinary drone from the Magyar Birds arsenal, costing a couple of thousand dollars, tracked down and air rammed an enemy drone valued at over $11,500. The unit's primary objectives include enemy detection, frontline patrolling, fire adjustment and launching attacks. Magyar himself shortens this into his unit's motto – Eyes and Sting. He recently demonstrated how well these eyes work. A Ukrainian drone showed one of the symbols of Donetsk, which has been occupied since 2014. The famous five-star Donbass Arena Stadium, which opened in 2009. As for the Sting, see for yourself. These fighters are also working on technological advancement. We are actively training a neural network with footage to detect and identify enemy personnel and equipment that remains hidden from the naked eye. Our objective is for it to recognize helmet or machine gun outline. In the meantime, the soldiers keep an eye on their screens to bring victory closer. Following the counteroffensive on Kherson, 
They fought for 110 days straight near Bakhmut. They continued to be an invisible terror from the skies for the enemy. The Madhya birds are diverse but very nice guys who have united around the common idea. We volunteered. We want to maximize the efficiency of our actions in this war. We yearn for justice. And we will remain here until the day of victory.